A very good evening and welcome to State of Business, our television's prime time news bulletin. I'm Madhusha Tavapala Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Prime Minister says Sri Lanka has paid over $1.8 billion to China as interests for Hambantha Deport loans. And Plantation Industries Ministry considers adopting outgrower model to improve productivity in estate sector. Now the story is in detail. Prime Minister Ronald Vikramasenka says the previous government had obtained $1,262 million of Chinese loans for the construction of the Hambantata port. He told the parliament today that so far the Hambantata port has incurred a loss of 51 billion rupees. Hambantara Vara, the Kirimasanda Halabagat, Mulunaya Pramania, Vasarin Nasar Gaun Labu Nayaha, Polivarika Pramania. China Merchant Port Holdings Eking Danata, a Nayagate, Avasta Pahaka, Avasta Tunaka Naya, got the Mudala Sampur name, Givala Tieno, a Adala Parsha Walter, Tower Dollar, Million Ekasi, Anuhaka Naya, Dekatino, Eken Kotasa, Api, Yodola Tieno, Givante, Tru Kotasa, Tapita, Yodogan Tibeno, Danta Givala Tiena, Polia Dollar, Million Egdas, Atasi, Asuatai, Enang. Apir deda sisa khatara wena kang gewan nati ani sa mema giusum asang karat pasu mesek kisitu sangso dina kisitu karena mema sahan giusum asang tabi mem pasu kondisi atuna pali me intu edi giusum asam banding wena wiwadi eki elemena karunu mata pada nama giusum e wagan ti sangso dina karanta api sa kaccha karan ti dati elati eno kanda emde kame kame none. Sri Lankan Airlines has climbed to 8th position globally in IATA fuel efficiency ranking amongst 51 airlines in the same business model. The airline has achieved this following the implementation of a wide range of fuel efficiency and conservation measures over the last 22 months to reduce fuel burn. This is a significant improvement over its performance in calendar year 2015 when it ranked 15th. Sri Lankan Airlines has achieved a saving of over $2.3 million through its new initiatives. Director General of Health Services Dr. Jasundara Bandara says suicide has become one of the leading causes of death in Sri Lanka. He also noted the relevant stakeholders have failed to take proper measures to address this issue. Dr. Bandara disclosed these details during a media seminar on prevention of suicide, which was held in Colombo today. Suicide is a significant cause of mortality worldwide, resulting in approximately 800,000 deaths per year. Sri Lanka was listed as having the fourth highest suicide rate in the World Health Organization report in 2014. <laughs> Vadimuth I have the Nick Marin. Namut make again, how what Itaram Lokuata Avadani Omkarana, Madanina, Sauke Amatian Setula Vadakarna, Sauke Seoko Kidinek, Sidi and Saganatino. Upper Samarita Ebandu, Avasana Vanta Tanakata, Yai to Ya Haki, Tang Handun again, Upper Adugani Eva Gedeva, Walakwa Ganimatu Kurlati Benoa the Kidnik. Let's take a look at more news after this break. Welcome back. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasenka says a legislature will be brought in to make the regional plantation companies accountable to the parliament. The Prime Minister said this addressing an event at BMICH to mark the 150th anniversary of the tea industry in Sri Lanka. As far as the regional plantation companies are concerned belong the state, we will bring in a law. We shall put out the duties and the functions, and you will find a more active golden shareholder, not a sleeping one. And they'll all be accountable to parliament. We'll assess the performance of the RPCs. 
nothing for nothing is my policy. So bad performers should exist the sector. The country can't pay the price for it. While the good performers must be encouraged to modernize and go ahead, face competition from outside. RPCs will have to become standalone companies, not taken into large groups, added on to the balance sheet so they get a better return or price for their shares. You are running RPC, look, that is earning money for us. Don't put it together with your company which imports motor cars or fridges. Speaking further, the Prime Minister said that the slow growth of local population will create a labour shortage for the country's tea sector. While the world population will increase by 2 billion by 2050, the maximum we can increase population at our rate of fertility is about 2 million. Plus point, the pressure for land is less and people will move out of those areas into the industry and the service sectors. What is the minus point? the supply of labor. The labor will move out of the area. So plus point is the availability of land and the minus is the supply of labor. And labor means they'll be working at higher wages throughout the country. You have to compete with the industries. Badulla will have to compete with the industrial zone in Hambantota. Meanwhile, speaking here, the Minister of Plantation Industries, Navin Disanayaka, says that the authorities are studying a new model to be adopted in order to enhance the productivity in the tea sector. According to that model, the estate workers will be given land rights. We are studying a model. The estate worker are given some rights over land and the management companies also have a better yield because the estate workers can pl pluck more tea from the estates. This model is commonly known as the outgrow model, and I hope that we can take it forward. I hope the union leaders who are amongst us today support us to move the initiative forward. Also, our government is also aggressively building individual housing units, and I hope that this will bring greater dignity and status to our plantation brethren. Sri Lanka tea sector brings in around $1.5 billion annually as export revenue. The minister pointed out that Sri Lanka needs to find new markets, improve competitiveness and productivity. He said regional plantation companies will be restructured with the assistance of the World Bank and the tea factories will be upgraded with the Japanese assistance. I urge the industry to have a more unified approach, particularly for policy, as there is too much debate and haggling over issues such as blending, importation of teas, scissors and taxes levied and marketing. A master plan for the industry is needed today. Ideally, the government should have a minimum regulatory function to ensure that laws are strictly complied with. We must ensure an ethical and transparent clean industry in line with accepted best practices. Let's take a look at stocks after this break. Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. The All Share Price Index dropped 18.10 points to close at 6506.03 and the S&P SL20 Index dropped by 19.87 points to close the session at 3734.21. The turnover was 747.5 million rupees and 27.9 million shares were traded. Up next is Forex Rates. With that, we wrap up State of Business. We'll meet you tomorrow with more latest news. Until then, take care. Good night.